up for sale now vehicle max we have a 2007 GMC Yukon two wheel drive short wheel base summit white on the outside with uh, light gray leather inside it is completely loaded it has the uh, factory navigation factory backup camera factory power moonroof factory DVD power tailgate uh, has the uh, power folding middle row bucket seats and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute uh, it has a clean title and a clean Carfax you can view right now for free at our website at vehiclemax.net. It also has the 20 inch polished wheels, <clears throat> has no dents, uh, no hail damage, no bird droppings, no uh, love bugs, nothing like that. The car is in perfect condition. It is still under the manufacturer's warranty of 5 years or 100,000 miles on the powertrain. The bumper to bumper warranty has been exceeded by miles but we do have extended warranties available for sale. If you're watching this video not a trader, let me tell you right now that it will cut off for three minutes. If you want to see the full 10 minute video, please visit our website, vehiclemax.net. Vehicle's also equipped. It's got all, not only the backup camera, but it's got rear bumper sensors, two on each side. Okay. It's got the uh, heavy duty tow package with the electrical connection there ready to go. Here's the rear camera that we'll be looking out of uh, in just a few minutes. Tinted windows, uh, power folding mirrors, turn signals on the mirrors, and a bunch of other options. Okay, let's go ahead and start off with one of the many options that it's got, and that's the um, remote start. I'm gonna lock the vehicle. Okay, press this once, twice, and then hold it. The turn signal should blink, and the car should start right up. Okay. Um, and this is so you can get your car warmed up or cooled down to say if it's in the summer, you know. You, uh, the car uh, has to be locked when you do it. So right now the car is safe. There's, you know, you can't get in it because it's locked. Once you do, it, once you're ready to drive off, you, you just go up to the car, unlock it, stick the key in the ignition, open the switch, and drive off. If you happen to change your mind and you want to go ahead and turn it off, or you're not leaving yet, or whatever, all you got to do is press here, and you turn it off. Okay. So let's get it open. Let's get inside. Show you the interior options. By the way, uh, let me tell you that we are located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. We are open Monday through Friday from 10 to 6, Saturday 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. If you have any questions, my name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. Let me also tell you that we have been in business since 1992 and have sold over 30,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating. You can just go to uh, bbb.com and check that out. Uh, just punch in vehiclemax.net. Okay, getting back to the equipment. Of course, we got power windows, power door locks, screw control to a wheel, uh, power seats, automatic headlights. Okay, and it's not just power seats, it's power seat, power recliner, and lumbar support. Okay, uh, it has heated seats and memory seats for up to two drivers. And it also has, let me let it focus in, power folding mirrors. Okay. Let me go ahead and get inside, get it started, show you the navigation, the moonroof, and all the, the bigger options. Okay. Okay, let's get the AC going. First things first. Nice and warm today. Okay, right off the bat, you can see that the car is equipped with um, um, with a dual climate control, you can make the driver's side to say 60 degrees, and you can change this to whatever you want over here. Matter of fact, it's actually triple climate control because the rear passengers control their um, uh, their own temperature as well. Okay, there's your navigation. Okay, let's go ahead and pop the moonroof open. It is one touch, as you can see. You don't have to hold the switch. I'm gonna close it now so you can see that it is a glass moonroof. It is tinted, and you've got this cover here if you want to block out the sun completely. For now, let's go ahead and leave it open. Got also a power tailgate. And I'll demonstrate that for you in a second. First of all, let's uh, let's put the DVD. Uh, click on DVD. Press play. And in a minute, turn this into full screen. Okay, so right there, uh, you can play a DVD right on the navigation radio. Okay, but um. Once you get once the car gets going, it will turn off. It's a safety feature, so you don't get caught there looking at um at the DVD while you're driving. And this is the uh, factory rear DVD. As you can see, they play exactly the same thing. All right. Okay, let me get back inside of the car now. 
show you some of the other options. Okay, before I open the tailgate, let's go ahead and show you what happens when we put the car on reverse. There, your DVD screen or navigation screen turns into a backup camera that's very accurate. I'm going to back up up against the Mercedes there. This that you see here is an outline of the rear bumper. Okay. Right there, your bumper, your uh, your rear your sensors are coming on. To start to beep to let you know that we're getting close. Okay. And as you can see, it's very accurate. You know, within. Uh, and then it starts to beep there. We're probably about six inches away there. Okay, let's put it back in drive, pull forward. Okay, and eventually this camera will go back to whatever was playing before, whether it was a DVD or navigation. Okay, um, let's go ahead and put this back to navigation here. There we go, nav. It is a touch screen as you can see. Okay, let's, uh, let's go ahead and open the power tailgate. Now the switch of the power tailgate is over here, or you can also do it with your remote by pressing the one down here. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, open the tailgate. It beeps and the taillights flash just to let you know it's about to open, just for safety so it doesn't hit you. Okay, for now let's go ahead and close it. So the sun's coming in from the back, that way we can uh, the video will come out better. Okay, another neat feature is these uh, the switch over here is the middle row bucket seats are power fold that's to gain entry uh, to gain access to rear entry for the rear row passengers we're gonna go ahead and operate one now so you can see how it works let me get a hold of the camera here make it steady okay it flips down and then it comes up out of the way so you can gain nice and easy entry to the rear row Okay, we'll leave it uh, like that for now. Then I'll show you. We're not going to do both sides, so just do one for now. Okay, uh, we get curtain side airbags here on the front post. Curtain side airbags here on the middle post. And let me go back and show you. Get curtain side airbags on the rear post as well. So we got a total of six side airbags, three per side. Okay. Uh, the rear row is a full bench. And you can seat up to three people back there. And also... Um, uh, they all have an over-the-shoulder belt including the middle row passenger. Here are your AC vents for the rear row passengers and there's a set of, another set of vents here for the middle row passengers. Now uh, you saw how the seat folded well you don't have to actually do that from the front there's also a switch here you can see it right there which will have the same effect you can see it over there that little switch does the same thing so if you're in the side of the car you don't need to go forward to get them flipped over okay. Um, Let's, uh, let's go ahead and finish up up here, turn on the stereo. We do have in this vehicle the uh, Bose uh, sound uh, stereo, no sound system, sorry. Okay, let's go ahead and test that out. FM, okay. Okay, now you can control the stereo right here as well. Plus and minus, okay, you can mute it and unmute it. These here are to seek your preset stations and this here is to seek any, uh, to, um, to seek any uh, available station, okay. Uh, the source just simply moves you from AM to FM to XM to the DVD to auxiliary. Yes, it does have uh, XM stereo. Right now, the XM stereo is on preview mode because you got to sign up for the subscription, okay? But it does have it. Uh, the auxiliary mode, well, that's actually to uh, plug in your iPod here and you can play your iPod music right on your Bose uh, sound stereo, so pretty cool. All right, uh, on start system, and in a few minutes, I'll tell you what that is and how it works. Uh, right on the, rear, on the rear view mirror, you have a compass and a temperature readout that lets you know what temperature it is outside. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pan around the vehicle a little bit. Let's go ahead and get the uh, windows open. The two front windows are one touch, and this is what I mean. You don't have to hold the switch. Let's do the uh, right front here. Same thing, one touch. Right rear. These you have to hold out. And left rear. Okay, let's come back up here. Um, by the way, the car has 62,243 miles. The car is running right now. I'm going to rev it. Keep an eye on this dial right here. 
and the reason I'm doing that so you can see that it is running and you can see that there's no lights on well clearly the low uh, fuel light is on but what I mean is no check engine light on, no anti-lock brakes, no service engine soon, no tire pressure monitoring sens uh, sensor service, nothing like that. Everything is working to perfection. Okay, let's talk about the OnStar system while I pan around the vehicle. If you get into a car accident and any of the airbags deploy, it sends a signal to the OnStar center to let them know you've been involved in an accident. Uh, then they, what they'll do is they'll attempt to contact you through the car to make sure you're okay. If you do not respond within a reasonable amount of time, they'll go ahead and dispatch emergency vehicles to come to your aid. Another thing that, you could, that uh, the OnStar system is good for is, uh, let's say you are running out of fuel and need to find the nearest gas station, hotel, restaurant, or if you're just plain old lost. Um, just press that blue OnStar button and they'll give you turn-by-turn -turn navigation, or I should say turn-by-turn uh, -turn directions, until you get back on your way. Uh, another cool thing is, uh, let's say you happen to lock your keys inside your car, which we had a customer the other day that had to happen to him. Well, all he did was call the 1-800 uh, number. Uh, they gave him the, uh, he gave him his uh, username, password, and so forth to identify him. And they sent an immediate signal to his car to get it open, and he was on his way in no time. Which saved them time and money having to call a locksmith and wait for a locksmith. Okay, here's another feature. We're done with the OnStar right now. By the way, the OnStar service, uh, the first three months, you can get them for free when you buy a used car. And then after that, you have to sign up for the subscription. Home link. Uh, you can program your garage uh, door with this or your gate at your complex. And you can program, <coughs> excuse me, program a maximum of three gates. All right. Um, let's go ahead and uh, over here we get vanity mirrors that are lit. Okay. Of course, on both sides. All right. Uh, let's see here. I think we're pretty much done with the inside here. Um, of course, we got cup holders here. This is removable, by the way. You can move it and put it to a position up here. You got two different slots for it, or you can just take it out completely if you don't want to use it. Um, leather wrap steering wheel. Let me go ahead and uh, uh, pan around it so you can see it's in perfect shape. It's not damaged or torn or anything like that. Okay. There's not uh, the, the stitching is not coming apart. There's no burn holes. Matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere on the leather door panels, headliner, carpeting, nothing like that. Steering wheel, dashboard, and there's no odor of smoke. So it looks like the previous owner was a non-smoker. Okay. Power adjustable pedals. Let's go ahead and uh, show you how that works. All right. Let me get the camera on my other hand. Get a good look down here. Get at an angle so you can see them move. They retract back or they go up, okay? And that's in case you get a real tall driver or a real short driver and they want the pedals, uh, you know, further down so they, can, uh, so they can be more comfortable or higher up so they can reach them. And they move completely independent from the uh, power seats, okay? They got nothing to do with the power seats. Okay, this parking here, this P here, this is to disable the parking sensors, the one that were beeping just a minute ago. If you're towing a boat or a trailer and you want to back it down into a, into the water or whatever, it gets annoying because it'll be beeping the whole time because you're right next to the trailer, of course. So when well, you press that and you disable it, once you put the car back in drive, this will come off by itself. Traction control. More power outlet here for your uh, cigarette lighter or charger or adapter. Uh, I think I showed you this already. It's got wood trimming here as well as in the dashboard over there. Continued on the door panels and it's in perfect shape. It's not damaged or cracked anywhere. A little more over here. And over here, go ahead and put the uh, turn signal here, and that's what I mean. It's got a turn signal right on your rear view mirror. That way, it uh, reminds you if you left it on, and you can see it better. All right. Okay, over here we got storage, nice and deep storage, and there's another power outlet down there in the corner for your cigarette lighter adapter. All right, uh, we're definitely done in the front. Let's go ahead and turn off the car. The fuel is kind of low. That way, we don't run out of fuel. You gonna get some fuel put in it. And uh, let's show you the middle row, the back row, and we'll conclude this video. Okay. Uh, all the door panels, as I show you in the front, they're all two-tone. It's called uh, light titanium and dark titanium with a wood trimming. Um, another feature this, this car has is the uh, child lock protection. How that works is very simple. You stick your key or any or screwdriver, twist this here to the right, and what that does is that disables this inside door handle. That's in case you get kids 
and you want to be able to control their movement, that way they don't open the door at an inopportune time, you can control their in and out uh, with the outside door handle. Okay, uh, down here, got a cup holder, another power outlet here for your cigarette lighter adapter, audio, I'm sorry, audio video input, that way uh, if you want to play a game up here, like say Nintendo or something like that, you can connect it and it'll play right on, the, on that screen up there. Of course, you gotta, you gotta find a power source for it, so probably use this and get an adapter for the Nintendo, whatever you wanna play. Okay, here's your controls for the rear AC, as well as the stereo, you can control them from back here. And it's got jacks for headphones, uh, in case you wanna listen to the music privately and doesn't bother the person, the people in the front. Okay, uh, I already showed you the rear row seat. I already showed you the DVD. I think we're pretty much done with here. Another thing is uh, th this vehicle is very clean inside. There's no baby car indentations from having a little <coughs> a baby car seat. And uh, all the pockets here in the back are nice and tight. You'll see this a lot with these cars. These things will bend out or even detach from the sides. This one's in perfect shape. All right, let's go to the rear row seat. I'll go ahead and open it up again with the remote. Okay, it flashes, lets you know it's gonna open. <coughs> By the way, um, these seats, uh, you pull this lever up here and they flip down and you can put them right up to the back of the middle row seats to give you more cargo room. Or you can, you can even also flip this up here, it'll fold the backrest and then just pull on here and take it out completely and put it in your garage or your, or your room or wherever you want to put it. So these things are completely removable and independent of each other. So what that means is... Uh, you can take one seat out and leave the other one, doesn't matter. Even though you think you're seeing a bench here, there, as you can see here, they're independent of each other. And this is what I meant by flipping it up. Ugh. Okay. All right, and it'll, it'll stay up. I just don't want to click it because then I need two hands to unclick it. So right here, you let it go back. And uh, there we go. Flip it up and you're good to go again. And as I said, you can remove it. This is a lot easier than I made it sound now because I'm holding, I'm trying to hold the camera and film at the same time. Give you a bird's eye view of the headliner so you can see that there's no stains, cuts, burn holes, or it's not sagging anywhere. Uh, what else can we tell you back here? Probably, probably finish up over here. There's another power outlet here, by the way. It's another cigarette light adapter. It's got a bunch of them. To close the tailgate, you can do it with the remote, as I showed you before. You can do it with this switch here, or you can do it with the switch inside that says three ways to close it and two ways to open it. Okay. Uh, rear wiper. Rear window defroster, those are little lines inside. Okay. Uh, car has no damage. All the all the tail lights and all the headlights are in perfect shape. There's no cracks, cuts, or scuffs or anything like that. Uh, they're nice and clear. They're not foggy. And there's no uh, water seeping in, so you won't see in the morning. Sometimes you see moisture get inside water droplets. This doesn't have it because uh, that you know they're in perfect shape. Alright, uh, we're about to conclude this video. I'm gonna go ahead and open from this side here, show you how to close this um, this bucket seat here. This is uh, very easy to close. I'm doing it with one hand and with the camera in the other. You flip this up and you're ready to go. So it does fold down by power, but you have to put it back up manually, but it's very easy. Even a young girl can do it. All right, let's take a look over here. And not only do we have, we have power seat on the driver's side, but we got power seat, power recliner, and lumbar support on the passenger side. I'll go ahead and pan over the leather here so you can see it's in great shape. I forgot, I don't think I did that with the driver's seat, so I'm going to go back there and do it again. Interior is in very nice shape. Take a look in here. And here all the owner's manual and everything else, all the supplemental manuals all are in there. Let's go ahead and pan over the driver's seat, we'll pop the hood, take a look in there, and conclude this video. Front bumper, perfect shape, the same thing with the front headlights, they're nice and clean. They're not foggy or faded, sometimes they get. Front bumper's in great shape. Uh, that, uh, the grill is in great shape, it's not cracked or corroded or anything like that, there's no, there's no brakes anywhere. There's no love bugs on the front bumper. Pan over the hood nice and quick here. Please keep in mind that these are lines, a reflection of the lights in the roof of the warehouse and the side of the warehouse. So when you see me moving about, you think you might see a dent. Keep an eye on it because the dent's going to move, move with me. And what it means is you're just seeing a reflection of the lights in the body contour of the car. Okay, uh, let's pop the hood. Let me remind you while I do that, that we are located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida. 33142 is our zip code. We are open Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturday, 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. Roof rack. Also, my name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. The website is vehiclemax.net. 
also remind you that we've been in business since 1992 and have sold over 30,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at BBB.com. 5.3 Vortec V8 motor. And all the fluids are up to level. Everything's been checked. And um, again, clean title, clean Carfax. You can see right now for free at our website. Again, my name is George. Feel free to call me if you have any questions. And I want to go ahead and thank you for watching our video at VehicleMax.net.